Hello and welcome, internet friends. My name is Huntner, and this is Cosmeteer. We have cleared every single mission in here, and you'll notice that my money isn't that high. That's because you'll also notice that I changed the ship a lot. Ah, yeah, I'm experimenting with a slightly different concept for killing called Bigger Guns. Bigger Guns. We completely changed the inside here so that it would be harder to kill our cockpits. Our cockpits are now embedded deep into the ship. That allowed us to put this armor plate here so that when these lasers get shot through, it just hits the armor plate, and then there's an armor plate, and then there's storage, and then there is the new medium-sized generator. I tried to put armor as much as I could beyond behind any hallway that backed out onto a weapon. This area here is pretty fragile, but I figure these wing bits if they get shot up we can lose them and repair them later and yeah, that's the idea i finished clearing this place off as i suggested i probably would last episode we're going to explore a new place that is much higher level and probably going to kill the hell out of us but uh that's for a minute first we gotta go here and we're going to go and get some missiles guess i said the next thing i was going to do was definitely going to be create a new ship but I was having trouble on my own, uh, clearing all those pirates without getting missiles, which was a goal I set for myself. And since I figured eventually I would need to do something about that to be able to make any good progress, this is where we're at. We're slower than we were. We've lost about, uh, me, I would say 11 meters per second in speed from being heavier. We have two large thrusters in the front now, and they are completely open and naked. Just naked. The things I've been fighting have been shooting them, which is actually not so bad, honestly. Keeps them from shooting the guns. Those heavy laser blasters have been helping too. And we've clustered almost, basically we've clustered our main small weapons all in the front. We changed these wedges. I went back with letting them be a little bit longer than they were previously. Um, I haven't found that it's interfered with shooting that much. And when it does interfere with shooting, the better position of these two guns helps to make up for that because they don't have to shoot across the ship as much okay we are now reloaded on missiles i should probably dump any unnecessary stuff here as well let's go to resource transfer i don't want to carry these i don't want to carry this is there anything else i could take do no, I seem to actually be pretty empty. Got a bunch of quails. You don't have room for them. I just canceled that. All right, let's do this again. Initiate resources. You can take these and these. Initiate transfer, please. Store those for later. All right. We are ready. We are absolutely ready. This is the first time this ship has went out as a true, true gunboat. <laughs> I've never had the missiles active while I've had these uh, these large, new, medium, or heavy, whatever they are, these heavy laser blasters. I have never had heavy laser blasters and missiles at the same time. But we are moving into the most dangerous place we've ever been. Because this place over here is 5-7. So we're traveling to there. It is the next closest system, realistically speaking. And I don't think we're going to stand much chance here. I thought about making these cannons, but uh, I could not figure out for the life of me how I was going to fit. How I was going to fit more storage. And I need to be able to carry some stuff. Okay. Okay. Let's just start heading over here. Hope we don't meet any deadly enemies before we get to the first space station. But I want to look at this check question mark. Oh god, no I don't. No, no, I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. We're getting out of here. Oh jeez, he's faster than me. Everything's faster than me now. This may be our first taste of conflict in a new system. Here we might we might have to fight this guy. And do our best to, to make that not happen. But I must uh, <laughs> I might not have the skill. I might not have the necessary resources. We're fine. We're fine. I'm probably more worried than I can be. I like like with the first place, when I have missiles, I can like kill things pretty well for a short time. <laughs> and then I have to get more missiles. I could 
do missile loads in the middle of the episode and cut that and that's probably what i'll end up doing if it, if having the missiles is absolutely necessary in order to like have any chance of surviving i'm gonna accept all these close by pirate missions oh let's go let's go i have to admit i'm a little worried a lot of these are two target missions. Like a two target mission might mean that they're not going to be super deadly individually. Let's just, uh, strength is Z, right? Let's just do a back strafe. He's coming towards me. I want to have it take the maximum amount of time possible so that he and his friend get a little separated. Yeah, just separate those guys out. Just, it's fine. Oh, jeez. It's going to fire straight through just to get it dead fast. Hopefully. Missiles away. Anybody else in range? No. So far, so good. Let's turn the missiles off. Now that his main weaponry is dead. Okay, that's good. We got one. I always forget how that works. Okay, we're gonna, once again, we're gonna strafe backwards from this guy. He is, he's not gonna have any of that though. He is coming right for me. Did I need to repair? I'm just gonna repair just in case. Oh, I don't know what this guy's gonna be. Okay, he's a marauder. We fought these before as well. Missiles are on. Missiles are firing. He's destroyed the engine on this side. Okay, let's turn the missiles off. I can shoot his bridge, so I should. Oh man, already? Now we need to settle into here and hopefully find what we need to do repairs. Let's, let's head down here next. We still have two bays full of missiles and some backups. Just turn those on so they're ready at the beginning of any engagement that we happen to bump into. We've eliminated two targets so far. Are they flanking me on purpose, or does it just appear like they're flanking me on purpose? I don't want to be flanked on purpose. There's a... This is Triad. This is the one where they like to turn themselves. Let's turn those off. We need repairs, but it's only light. Our missiles are going out super fast, though. Maybe I should have turned them off sooner there? Maybe? Part of me is hoping for something with missiles. Part of me knows that now that I don't have point defense, that would be a bad idea. We'll see what this guy is. Another triad, eh? Let's fire into here. Okay, not bad. Not bad. All right. This design seems to have much more sustainability and much more damage. Well, I mean, I did play with it a little bit without missiles. I added a new crew type, which is pilots. They live in this box here. The only thing they do is pilot. And I adjusted what the, the gunners do so that they focus on gunning and loading missiles. And then the regular crew does everything they used to do, which is basically move power around. What are you? You are a Vindicator, eh? 
I hate you. I remember you. You're flak guy. Let's just pull back. So we've got damage mostly here, but I think we have them under control at this point. Part of me wants to put missiles in there. Good enough, although we do need a pretty significant repair this time. Okay, I'm feeling better about this than I have in a while. I'm, I'm starting to feel like we can handle some of the stuff we got to do. There's definitely enough out there, I think, get this repair done. We don't have enough hypercoils to finish this. We need five of them, and we ain't going to find them here, I don't think. I mean, we might. It's theoretically possible. But I doubt it. Maybe there's one in that, like, that cannon? No. Okay, not so bad. Let's see what this is like. Gonna just turn on the missiles right away because of the damaged engine, meaning I want this to be a fast, decisive combat. Just immediately start firing on his gun that we can already see. I'm going to miss that every single time. And let's go out here and see if we can find some coils, guys. Okay. Yeah. I'm starting to feel a little bit more stable, like I can make money. Um, missiles are still doing the thing they do, which is making me appear stronger than I am without them. But that doesn't change the fact that I think I, this ship can handle itself against things without missiles, as long as I'm conservative enough. We'll just get a closer look at it so you can see. Just to explain again, I moved the cockpits way back, which prevents them from thinking they can just shoot through my middle and kill my cockpit. We got the forward guns up here doing their work. Are we Do we... I wonder if we don't have enough gunners now? Like if we lost the gunner? Two, three, four, five... Gunners are the pink guys. They don't handle the missiles. And there's a pink person in here. So why is this a problem? Why is no one out there? You, you don't care about it? What's happened here? What's happened here? Let's actually take a look and see. Oh. That's why. Um, you being transferred to the other side there we go this is probably pushing my luck right this is pushing my luck Ooh. this is definitely pushing my luck i don't even need to kill this thing who even knows what it looks like it could be strong let's let's veer away although i don't know that i should leave something dangerous out here Let's do it. The question mark will probably be worth it. Okay, this is a phalanx. We fought these before. We got two missiles left, and, and we're not giving them to this phalanx. And the engines are out right away. But I have succeeded at utterly destroying most of everything on the front of his ship. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. This is a lot less worrisome than the old situation. He, yeah, he's 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 done some serious damage that actually means that 
the big cannons will stop firing pretty soon. But, I mean... Hey, until they run out of power. Right? Once I take damage at this at this new version, I'm in a much better position to continue fighting. That's what I mean. That he did lots of damage to me. I kind of want to shoot at his. I guess if I have to destroy his. Uh... Generator, I will. Kind of sucks though. It's gonna make my repairs real expensive. Yeah, I actually had everything I needed already from the last pickup. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Look at that. Don't we feel strong now? I think we probably lost a lot of crew. Ah, eh, not that many, actually. To be perfectly honest, seven total crew lost since we came out here. You know, it's, it's deadly in space in this game, you know? There's not much I can do about that. I feel like those two gunners who had no escape died. <laughs> On the gun that got killed on that side. And the, the... The engines are a bit of a problem. I admit that. But this is much better, because it suggests to them that they should shoot out my big guns and my big, huge reverse engines that are just sitting right out there, and it keeps the center of my ship. We'll call it the old wedge, the part of the ship that most resembles the original version where all the guns were on the front. It keeps the old wedge safe because they're shooting at stuff on the edges. They don't see any obvious targets. There's armor between them and everything that they might want to kill that isn't these guns feels feels like this design is actually somewhat viable we'll say okay let's go back to the space station for some repairs from not for repairs but to turn these missions in and to get some more brave crew yeah how much hyperium do i have i probably should have checked before deciding whether or not to jump Trying to get some missiles, if they actually happen to have any. They do. Not a lot, though. I mean... Not a lot isn't none. I guess. Just bring all the missiles they got to us. We'll, uh, we'll use them to... Hopefully, uh, maybe reload the bays, if we're lucky. Yeah! Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, that gives us a few more shots, guys. I feel good about it. Back into the fray. This design is so much smoother than the last one. We are actually kind of doing the thing this time instead of not doing the thing like last time. Again, we want to want to see if we can we can get them to come out and then we want to put a big old Z on it and then just back off. Get back off. They seem to be about the same speed, though, so I don't think I'm going to be able to split them up. Unless one of them decides, hey, I don't want to really participate, then they might split up. I don't think we're going to be able to split them up, though. They actually seem to have more reverse thrust than they have forward thrust, which would be hilarious. Oh, no, they're catching up. They're catching up. I'm getting a little impatient, though. Oh, God has weirdly placed missiles I didn't replace my crew it's see what happens if we try to do this do not like do not like let's let's just a bit of a game here 
called I Don't Like When Enemies Have Missiles. Can't actually see what still does he still have a is he still a spaceship? <laughs> Apparently he is still a spaceship. I just can't see where his uh, cockpit is under the smoke. There it is, right there. Here's that we have destroyed his missiles. Turn those off. Now we need to fire on his buddy, the toothpick here. We at least try to not look awful about doing this. Okay. It's too bad that my hatred of missiles when they're held by other people caused me to blow the crap out of all of his storage because uh, I'm pretty sure we killed any missile storage he might have had. <laughs> it's weird to mine these ships apart where there's still dudes inside, you know? We did get some hypercoils though. Can't be mad about that. Don't know if it's enough. I don't think it is. But it's definitely some. Let's see what our repairs look like now. We have 13. I say have no missiles anyway. There's not a lot of reason to repair this, which means it's perfectly fine to leave it the way it is. All the things to leave damaged. That's the one we want to leave damaged. Sometimes I wish we could offer, con like, work contracts to these dudes floating in space. You know what I mean? Since we won't be firing missiles anymore, we're going to redistribute our crew. Take our missile guys here. We're going to assign them to this, this. We don't have enough people over here. So you, right there, you join them. You join them. They're all fine. Just the last red guy can go in there. Okay, that's good. Crew reassignments complete. No more needing to worry about missiles because we don't even got them. So the missile guys can go and do some other work. Let's see what's out here. Eliminate dyad. That's this. Oh, well, wait, wait, who's, who's this and why do they hate me? What did I do? All I did was kill pirates. Ah. Such joy, the killing of pirates. Oh God, this is the strongest thing we've ever fought. This is the strongest thing we've ever fought. What makes it pick very strong? It's not actually that much stronger than other things we've fought with a similar profile. To be honest, it's probably the sp engine speed that makes it strong, but. Good, that's what we want. Look at how much repair problem we have. We need quite a lot to get this repair done. Let's... You left so much of yourself in, dis in space, my friend. Okay, we got problems that need to be dealt with right away. And that is, we need to help them out. By repairing the areas that are on fire.
there. It's very useful. Once the combat is over, to uh, repair the areas that are on fire for your guys. This is something I've recently learned. We have lost uh, uh, half our crew almost. 22 would be half our crew, so we do need to replenish our crew. Uh, I would like to do one more mission successfully, though. Oof. I think we're going to go this way and try to do both of these two. Leave this be for now. I don't know if I want to fight a level 5 fugitive bounty when I have no missiles and one of my engines is basically already blown. After this, we'll go in and we will replenish the crew. Turn in our stuff for money. Hopefully the money we've made will replenish the crew on its own. It's nice to feel like we're making good, strong forward progression instead of what was happening before where... Well, where we weren't. I mean, there's there's no real better way to put it. We weren't making forward progression. We were fighting battles just to barely repair ourselves and then go out and do it again. This ship is definitely... offensively stronger than it previously was, which is a really nice thing. You know, this is an inst this is two regular cannons. No, there, there, there. Do it that way, and then fire through. Just pull back. I want to see full burn from your. Okay, I don't want to be turned towards his friend. So we're going to try to take control over the direction. Good. Let's go this way. Split that poor guy right in half. Now let's go and pick up this mess, guys. Let's repair everything we can. Again, I'm okay with leaving the missiles damaged and continuing to... Oh, that is an independent target, which in this system could be up to a level 5. Well, I mean, it could be up to a level 6, really. It's interesting. Very interesting. You want to give it a shot? What do you think, everyone? He's gone. He's gone. Okay, well, once everybody's inside, we'll go back and grab the wreckage that we left behind us. So yeah, this new design, I think I like it a lot. It's sort of like an offensive-defensive design that gives the enemy targets away from the center of mass, helps protect our cockpits and our essential generator more than we've ever had them protected before. This is not something we really want to do. Not three. What? Someone else eliminated them. Was it this this guy? The pirate hunter guy? Oh, jeez. That could mean... I wonder what level he sees my ship as. You ever think about things like that in video games? Like... Oh, Jesus. This is crazy. Why do you exist? He's trying to keep our ourselves away from his frickin' prism. Where are his shields? His shield is right there, so... Trying to fire past on his shield. You know, maybe we just fire on the gun. Just pound through his shields. He wasn't- a, he scared me, but he wasn't able to actually do that much damage to us. Um, let's do an all stop. Let's just go and fire straight in on him. I had a feeling that the rotation was preventing my, um, disruptor from being able to do its job. 
which was take those shields down. Not bad. Feel pretty good about that, too. We're going to have to replace a lot of crew, though. And I'm not sure we made enough money to make that worthwhile. That guy went in there, and he did that mission for us. And then he became part of another mission. What? What a fine fellow. What an excellent, excellent fellow he is. Donating so much to the cause of making me stronger so I can kill more pirates. So that's it. This is a new wedge design. And the design specs is called the Wedge 5, but we haven't renamed the actual ship. The Wedge 5. And now that we have a ship that can actually handle most of the stuff we're up against, I am hoping that we can begin the process of doing what we kept saying we were going to do over and over again. And that is building more support combat ships so we can go out further and kill more stuff. I feel really confident that we're going to be able to do that now. These higher level missions are actually starting to pay <laughs> instead of being a pit. Still getting through death problems. It's going to take us back right to where we were before, but at least at least we got through it, you know? Yeah. I bet now that our crew is refreshed, actually we should maybe just just finish up these last couple of quests we have around here. We didn't leave crew behind, did we? I don't think we did. We waited for quite a bit on... Uh... So where are we are on the exploration? Oh, it's right there. So there's one... Uh, maybe we should travel to those other two stations, too. But we should also kill this guy. If we pick this up, traveling to those two stations should make us basically ready to turn in. Right? Yeah, we need one more question mark after this. So we'll do that. We'll flip over here. We'll try to get this guy. Maybe he's got a question mark near him. And then we'll check out all the other stations in the system. Hopefully not get killed for our hubris. That should give us a bunch of free money that I feel pretty comfortable going in to get. This guy kind of worries me because he could just have a bunch of missiles or something. We're no longer really as good at fighting missiles as we were before. He is literally coming right for me, so let's just... Let's not give him what he wants. Let's just slow everything down. This guy is a dryad. Oh, he's got shields like crazy. I think our best shot is to try to kill his guns by pushing quickly through his shields by hitting them with our disruptors. Good. That's quite good. Now all he really has left is the disruptors. Let's see if we can pierce this shield permanently. It doesn't seem likely. There we go. There we go. Wait, does he have two cockpits? Oh, that was not what I thought it was. There we go. Not bad. No serious damage, just stuff we can repair without without scavenging, which is really nice. Okay. Good 7,000. Hire the two crew we didn't buy last time. Let's see. Do you got... Um, Got missiles. I know we bought missiles from you just a little while ago, but you may have more. You don't. Let's see what else we got going on here. You want us to visit these stations, except I think we're going to leave this one out for now. <laughs> I think. And we're just going to zoom over. Is this. Just make sure this one. Those are the two stations that are pro us checking. And the other station that's further back is 
on us checking. It's not as simple as that, but. Much harder for them to find ways to make me blow up. That is what this ship design has led me to see. Much, much harder for them to find ways to blow me up. Now, he's probably got lots of new missions for me, but that's not what we're going to do right now. Not right now. We're going to just zoom on to this one. Avoiding anything that looks like danger on the way. Hopefully we can... You guys scared me, but you're not strong. Just, you know, in case you didn't know. You're not strong. I fought so many stilettos, it's hilarious. Probably shouldn't go at super speed, though. It's not helping anybody. This guy, though, I think we're gonna... Try to take out that heavy cannon, because he really wants to wreck me with it. I don't know why anyone would ever flee in this game. I guess because you might actually get away? Is it because you think your friend will kill me? I don't think your friend will kill me. Okay, well that flight... Does not feel like it helped you. Back on this guy, who we tried to kill, but ran away. Is this guy even a ship? He's just a tube with cannons on the front. I know I've seen that design before, but jeez, he's just a tube. Just a tube with cannons on the front. Okay. I guess that's a valid design choice, I suppose. I don't know. I... I... I guess, right? How? Did we lose our wingtip permanently? I don't know, but it happened, and I am undoing it. Somehow we lost a crew member in those two fights? Guys, this, this is intolerable. <laughs> we gotta do better than that. <laughs> and by you gotta do better than that, I mean I gotta do better than that. I, I am the one. I don't know if I wanna fight this. Do I wanna fight this? No, I feel like he's just going to try to get me to follow him to that pirate base that I am not ready for. But there you go. Much more successful design. Much better than previously. Thank you for watching. My name is Huntner. Next time, again, I'm going to probably fight some more between this episode and next just so we can push a little bit faster forward. The new wedge design here is really starting to make me feel better about life, you know? Let's look at her with her paint. Ugly as always. Look at how ugly you are. Oh, you're so beautifully ugly. I probably, probably should turn those cockpits around so they make a little bit more sense. But, you know, we don't do that. We don't do that here. We don't do that here. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider giving it a like or checking something else out on the channel. I may have done something else that you enjoy. If you've been here before, if it's not your first time, please consider a subscribe. They really help. Although I appreciate the views. Even if you just remain a non-subscribed viewer. I actually really appreciate you guys just as much as the subscribed people. And I hope to see you again the next time we're here playing Cosmeteer. Oh, Wedge. What a beautiful little ship you are now. Try to get a nice, nice little beauty shot with you.